Yeah, in a, in a nutshell, I'm gonna just kind of give you guys a turnaround, you know, with like all the best design cues of the RF. Um, you know, we're super proud of finally unveiling this vehicle. Obviously, from the past generation, um, we kind of gave up the smile. You can see, you know, the front face is going much more sophisticated. But even so, the RF compared to the soft top, um, we're broadening the, the audience. And, you know, we've done focus groups where um, a lot of the current MX-5 um, soft top buyer uh, wouldn't maybe consider um, this one, even though they think it's really cool, because the, the soft top is really for the, the purest um, kind of two-seater experience. But what we realized, there's so much um, much more broader audience where people that will never consider a two-seater that now you know look at this vehicle to be like I could drive this in the city I don't have to be in the PCH you know this is really a complete different experience that we're able to accomplish so the way we kind of did it is from day one designers kind of never entertain this kind of double top and have this um, the retractable fastback kind of landing vertical on the body we've always considered having this kind of buttress scenarios and the idea is to really kind of transfer all of the volumes rearward to give you this kind of dynamism. Um, the other thing that it does is when you look at the overall silhouette, um, you know, it compares to a lot of the classic, you know, Italian vehicle from the 50s and 60s that stayed embedded, you know, kind of into your mind. And, and it's such easy to fall in love with that silhouette. So again, it's more of that coupe-like aesthetic that we're trying to, uh, to target. So what's very interesting is, is we work really hard, designers and engineers together on how to put this thing together. One thing we're super proud of is how did we achieve actually this cut line? And most of all the manufacturers, that shirt line is actually a lot lower from a packaging issue, which kind of you know, defragment the whole tricolor panel and you kind of lose the whole thematic. Um, what we've done is able to compress all of the, the hardware in such ways we move that shirt line into that crisp where those two surfaces kind of meet. So when you walk through the vehicle, that shirt line actually disappears, which is pretty amazing because you have that whole color panel um, looking like very much seamless. Now from a graphic standpoint, obviously we didn't want to land again vertical here. We had to stretch it. Even if this is blackout to not see the hardware, it really helps for the, the car to all feel a lot more of that kind of um, rear dynamism. Um, something else very interesting with the, uh, with the vehicle, we want for you to fall in love with the vehicle, we want your eyes to contain the volume. So there is so much plan view in all of the lines. You can see that from the front, on the hood, uh, reflection based surfacing, everything is very circular and even the ratio of where the placement of uh, the tail lamps are really much centered to the vehicle and you have this pretty uh, um, kind of consequent offset between the, the wheel lip. Um, all of this is to really accentuate this kind of concentric uh, dynamism from top view. So your eyes really circle you know, on the car very quickly and help for this kind of irrational seduction.